What has truly enabled us to continue our travels after welcoming two infants on board is our boat. It's an incredible way to carry our entire home across oceans to distant shores, reaching places few have ever seen. On board, we're a self-contained unit, generating our own power and transforming salt water into fresh. We supplement our provisions by harvesting fish from the ocean, and we rely on the wind's power to propel us across oceans, sometimes spending weeks offshore. I'll make this guy's word a long onesie since <laughs> Canada when he was born. While many long for conventional homes and the convenience of cities, we found solace in the simple, vibrant life of island villages. How old is this scale? <laughs> that scale? I tell you, I can't come here. It's here that we're teaching our kids the endless possibilities of how to live life. It's this immersion that we believe will create a foundation that will set them up for success no matter what they choose. We're going to bring you along for a week aboard Nahawa. We'll source some food, we'll move countries, fix the boat, and engage in the natural world around us. It's an incredible way to live. Oh, hi, Bodie. Are you going to go swimming? Go swimming. Okay. On the paddle board? Have fun. This is my office sometimes. It's literally our bed. Uh, it's my computer. I'm just editing the next video. The chair where I usually work, it's kind of not ideal it's a small boat relatively small boat so you work where you can work and it's not a corporate job so it doesn't matter if you're sitting up properly or laying down and getting stuff done the only thing that matters is you get it done and you publish the video every week or every two weeks whatever it may be so we're just about to untie from this mooring here at sandy island it's a beautiful spot and this is in northern part of Kariaku. And then we're gonna head over to Union Island and there's a lot of kiteboarding at Union Island and we're looking forward to anchoring. We're gonna anchor off Frigate Island and dinghy up to um, Clifton to check in. There's a lot of like kind of chat about the boat boys in Clifton. I'm sure it's fine, but um, it's just sometimes you don't wanna deal with it and the anchorage at Frigate is supposed to be quite lovely and the best for kiteboarding. So that's where we're headed. Hold on tight. engines your sails are up you're still moving the winds around it's not too hot you're out of the marina you're out of the anchorage you're on to the next new place it is a completely freeing feeling and you can go anywhere here you gotta grab it here grab it? yeah grab it there pull it in Okay, let's check the lure, dude. Got it. <laughs> Bodie loves fishing, and we just went through uh, a few different. We went through a few lines of sargassum weed. It's not a lot, actually. I expected there to be more. Maybe as we head north, there'll be even more. Um, but just a couple lines, so I I wanted to check the. I wanted to check the line because I want some fish. <laughs> There's no fish today. No fish today. Yeah, throw it. Come on! High five! 
five. That's perfect. What's amazing is the lack of swell, the ocean going swell here in the Caribbean. You're always behind these islands uh, for the most part. I mean, there's a little bit of spots between the islands where the wind accelerates and there's big swell, but for the most part, there's no ocean going swell. It's very domesticated sailing, very domesticated. Beautiful, it's fast. And there's always someone to race against. There's like 50 boats to race against, to compare yourself with. The funny thing is, as soon as there's two boats, you kind of are racing. It's like, I wonder how we can catch up to all those people. Funny fact about kids is that before they're, I think, one year old, they don't experience seasickness. And after about two years old, which is what he is now, they start to experience seasickness. We're anchored just off the peninsula that's next to Frigid Island, and this is where they kiteboard. This is where I think they're running most of the lessons now. It is a beautifully stunning spot to kiteboard. It is safe. It's like an enclosed bay. If you have a kite mare, you just end up on the beach down there. And uh, it's flat water. I haven't kited in five years. I have to say I am a little bit anxious, like a lot. Like, I don't know what's gonna happen. Anxious. <laughs> what do you think? I would think this will be a great spot to, to chill for a couple weeks. A couple, I think. A couple months. <laughs> Bodhi. <laughs> I don't think we'll stay here. I think we'll chill here a couple of weeks, a couple of months, a couple of years, but you never know. You never know how these things work. First impressions of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Nice people, really nice people. A little rough around the edges. You never know if your dinghy's going to be here when you get back. This is the uh, solution for today. They have drilled, someone has drilled in these, these rods and then rounded off the top so you can't get the nut off. And the idea is to just lock up your dinghy to that. I've used the anchor chain this time to lock up our dinghy. Um, these Yamaha outboards are really highly sought after. Locking your dinghy, you always want to think about the weakest link in your chain. That might be the lock. And so it's getting this big ass Inox lock. Um, but so far so good. Um, I think it's one of those things, just make your dinghy a little bit harder to lock up than the next door neighbors. And if you're the only dinghy on the dock, just maybe, uh, I don't know, hope for the best. You have little kids for four years. And if you miss it, it's done. That's it. Game over. Lots of things in life you don't get to do more than once, but that period between zero and four, zero and five, there's something about it. It's like a peak experience in life. Incredibly busy and hard. Some days you wonder when it's going to end. Can you look at me? Can you look at me, please? You need it. Okay, well, now your turn. Can you sit down? Are there moments you wish you could freeze in time? Today's multitasking day. We want to move the boat and uh, we took the trash in and uh, took the kids for a ski while we're at it. They really love being towed behind the boat at, you know, a little bit too fast speeds. <laughs> How fast do you want to go? If we were to give ourselves advice five years ago, it would have been along the lines of, your lives are about to become incredibly busy and chaotic. From diapers to feedings to whatever you do for work and your financial responsibilities to sailing around the world and maintaining your boat, you won't know how to get it all done. It's literally going to be complete chaos aboard Nahoa most days, but the important stuff the really important stuff has a way of percolating its way to the top. Sometimes that's certain business conversations and transactions, but often it's also those seemingly less important moments that are actually just as important. Things work a lot differently. It's island life 
This is, uh, I don't know if it's a water main or just a residential water pipe that is routed across the road and some big trucks have been going up in them and they broke it. Earlier today, I saw a local in his truck going forward and reverse, forward and reverse, right over this thing. He rolls down his window and goes, hey man, I'm just cleaning some mud off the bottom of my truck. So I thought, well, if he's having fun with it, we may as well have fun with it too. Touching it. One challenge we faced is maintaining the lifestyle we had before kids. We used to dive and kite and hike all day long. Having children has certainly slowed us down. Perhaps in a beneficial way. Hey, good day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold it tight, buddy. You got him? Whoa! <laughs> got it? Don't fit it. If he, he might get lost, that's, and that's okay. Okay, Willa? Put it tight. Put it down, you see? Yeah. Willa! Look at that. Camera. Very good. Yeah. Oh, he's leading the charge. <laughs> You still got to do stuff, even if your kids are really little. You still got to get out there, even if it's hard. You know, there's a big reward at the end of it, I think, sometimes. Just overcoming those little battles. It's been, I think that's been one of the hardest things for us with the children, is not quite being able to do what we used to do. We used to do so much hiking here in Grenada, and we go everywhere. So, a few people recommended this walk, uh, because it's pretty docile with the children. And man, I'm... I'm glad they did. It's been really great. Dexter's an amazing guide and uh, we're so grateful to be out here just doing a little bit, a little bit, because it's so much, it's so different with children. This is what we're out here for, is to come out and have these experiences and go home and do these things. I must say, it's definitely harder exploring with the kids. Still worth it though. <laughs> definitely still worth it. You just gotta get out the door. Where's your mama, Willa? Where's your super mom? Right there, do you see her? I see her. First time since having kids that mom is out riding. 
what a what an achievement i mean uh to all your moms out there you guys are amazing for what you do all your dads as well but uh It's different now that we have kids and uh, we're trying to resume the lifestyle we had five years ago. The civilization, the see you later kind of intro, remember those? Well, we're trying to get back to that. Uh, trying to get back to the kiting. The diving's gonna have to wait because you need a buddy to dive and someone needs to watch the kids. But the kiting, we're trying to get the kiting done. So it's working, it's working. Today's a win, big win. I never drink beer this time of day, but it's the first time in five years I've been kiting and it felt pretty good honestly. I was having a shit morning dealing with my children and it wasn't really them at all but it was me. You know how you have those days and I was just a miserable person and I, my children I think were miserable because I was a miserable person and then I, I got out kiting and it's the first time in, in five years. I have forgotten a lot. I'm rusty as all heck, but it's coming back pretty quick. Like I was, I was able to jump in the end. It's a light day, big kite, new kites. My board's falling apart because the glue's failing, but I still had a lot of fun and it felt really good. I need some water. My mouth is dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it cracks me up. He's going out for the first time on his kite foil. And uh, he goes to me, I'm so nervous. I'm seriously nervous, but um, it's hard boat launching because you got to run your lines and they got to be, um, you know, straight. Like you can't have them crossed over each other. This part seems controlled. It's very unusual for us. So far in control. Should probably stop talking. <laughs> All right, it's up. You see the kite up there? You can't see it in the sun, hey? The foil is a tricky thing and he thought he'd nail it, but uh, I think it's going to take him a couple passes to get the porpoising under control. I have never gotten it. It's harder than it looks. I love the color of your boats here. Yeah. How do you choose the colors? I got a paint shop. I paint it myself. Huh? You paint the whole boat yourself? Yeah. Wow. Um, this is the first boat I own and I sold it. I sold it after having it for about 10 years. Then I went into diving after the COVID. Yeah. I sell the boat. And then COVID three years, business around was very slow. So I was doing diving, I doing like the go and look for cows, spearfish and thing. So I sold it and I buy one of the what boat we call the Pirag, which is a, the plastic boat. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But now the cows thing is go down. My cousin, I sold it to a guy. My cousin bought, bought it. My cousin has a problem. He said he's gonna sell the boat. He's gonna fix the next boat. And I bought, I sold my next boat and I bought this back. <laughs> you got it back. <laughs> I just got this boat about two months now back. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Everyone saying this boat is for you. <laughs> Island life, man. It's the way to live. Slow, easy, chilled out. Take pleasure in the small joys like cows. We forgot the helmets. Not a good video. Look at the cows. They're coming with us. Christmas has started aboard now. It's beautiful in the Caribbean. It's warm, but not too warm. 
It's starting to cool off. The rain's starting to go. And uh, we still get some days that are like full on rain, but some days are really nice, like today. Where's the moon, Bodhi? Why are you yelling at the moon? I am moon. You have to be talk gently to the moon. This life is pretty cool. The fact our kids just roam around at night before bedtime, look at the moon, look at the stars. I just feel like, I don't know. It's unique. It's unique. I really like that they're in touch with nature and our environment. Do we howl at the moon? Pretty. Oh, oh. Oh. Pretty moon. Hey. Oh, look at the fish shrimp. Up. We're cooking snapper. We bought it. We didn't catch it. Today, I actually got out kiting for the first time, and I think it's like four and a half years exactly. Um, I fell pregnant with Willa and uh, never kited since. And it felt so great to be out on the board. I was having kind of a rough morning as we do as humans and um, the kiting totally changed my day. It was brilliant. What happens in the tropics to glue, dear? Glue fails in the tropics. Little. Little, hey, hot tip. <laughs> a hot tip, carry some glue. <laughs> what are we using tonight, 291? 591. 591. Is that like glue for like windows and stuff too? I'm not sure. I basically just use chat GPT. <laughs> I put in all the glues I have. I'm like, which glue is the best for gluing rubber to plastic? And I said, 591. What did you buy that for? So important. <laughs> Our teak has a little crack in it. We've lost some of the glue. Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to jump in here for a second and let you know a little bit about our Patreon community. It's a place where you get to see more of us through behind the scenes or learn more about this lifestyle through how to's. Or if you just wanted to support us, you could consider joining. You can join for as little as $2 and you get exclusive content and a video every single week. Hope to see you there.